this outdoor arena at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. There's a look at the Mexican Ubaldo Hernandez. As you look at Ubaldo, you see he's very tall, very lanky. Reminds you a little bit of uh, Tio Trinidad, guys that are lanky and tall like that. Uh, over, big overhand right, strong kid, tough kid, durable kid in Mexico. Uh, for the likes of Carlos Navarro and Cotto, and you realize there's an opponent, so some of the but sometimes losses actually benefits because you fight guys of that caliber, which make you a better fighter when you do go against a guy like Juan Durango, who hasn't faced the caliber of this like that. So you, probably, Hernandez probably feels he's overmatching Juan Durango. Probably because he has so many fights. So probably he feels that the advantage goes his court. And that'd be the record. It's just something else he had to deal with. Taking on some very tough opposition, especially lately. He's coming off like a five-fight losing streak. But he really feels he has everything to gain and nothing to lose when he takes on this man. We mentioned uh, the comparisons to Tyson. These two stack up in the tail of the tape. Well, they're going to tell the tape here. You see the age difference goes to Hernandez. He's older. Height, inch, reach, 73 to 68. Tremendous reach advantage. Weight, big time. Here we look at the rules. No three knockdown rules in effect. Most that an age count in effect. Only ref can stop the fight at any time. The score cards in cases of the head for after four rounds can't be saved by the bell in any round. So we are scheduled to go. This one's scheduled for 12. Let's get it underway with ring announcer Tom Driver. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, as Warriors Boxing, CSI Sports, and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina proudly present to you Corona's world-class championship boxing. Our first bout is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission, along with the World Boxing Council. President is Jose Suleiman, and the supervisor is Bismarck Morales. The three judges assigned, scoring on a 10-point must system will be Fred Flutie, Bill Ray, and Peter Trematerra. When the bell rings, our referee in charge of the action will be James Waring, the former IBF world champion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with 12 rounds of boxing, and it's for the vacant WBC Latin American Junior Welterweight Championship. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 147 pounds, and tonight is wearing white trunks with red trim. A native of Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico, he is now fighting out of Fort Myers, Florida, and his record consists of 19 wins, 15 losses, two draws, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ubaldo Hernandez. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 139 pounds and tonight is wearing black trunks. A native of Monteria, Colombia. He is now fighting out of Hollywood, Florida. And he is undefeated with 13 wins, no losses, one draw with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Juan, the Iron Twin, Ulungo. Okay, guys, right here, it's good. Right here, it's good, okay? Touch gloves, guys. Good luck, both of you guys. Touch gloves. 
So we are set and ready to go. Look at Ubaldo Hernandez. It's his mouthpiece put in. He's going to need it because the action, I think, will be fast and furious from the opening bell. Juan Durango likes to be all out early in his fights. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. And there's a weight advantage going to Durango. I mean, of uh, uh, Baldo, I mean, um, Baldo weighed 147. Uh, Durango weighed only 139. So there's okay, a height go, guys. Go. as well as a size advantage. Now let's see if he can take advantage. Expect Durango to come right in and try to work the body and the head of Hernandez. South Paul style. Durango coming in yet to throw a punch. But when he does, he throws a lot of them. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. And he's Hold usually hand. looking for the knockout. Hold your hand. Two very Tyson like, you know, patch on the shorts. Called the Iron Twin, no socks. Uh, black shoes, black, black shorts. Uh, very reminiscent of a young Mike Tyson. Uh, moving the head, making you miss, but not making you pay. Not coming behind the jab. A young Mike Tyson used to flick the jab out there, slide and hit you to the body, real powerful. And Williams sees an explosive. In his last fight against Mike Arnotis, Arnotis did a pretty good job of uh, using his jab and keeping Urango at bay. And also later on in the fight, when Urango slowed down, Arno just took advantage of that and dropped some nice right hands and combination in. The one thing I don't see Durango uh, catching Abago with is Abago stepping to his left. He's stepping to the left hand, and Abago's not throwing the left hand. There's the heavy hands already of Durango, and down goes Hernandez. I don't think he was hurt that much. He didn't appear to be from that shot. Such. I don't think he got hit with a good shot to go down. Hey, we have to see the okay. replay. Step forward, step forward, step forward. With, but, Three gloves. Uh, it shows you how strong right? your angle is. He's very yeah, strong, go. and he's a, a pretty good finisher. At least he has been. Let's see if he comes in there and goes for the knockout. I think he will. Big uppercut attempted by the South Pole. And throwing big shots. Urango trying to catch Hernandez, who's already been down. Hernandez needs to try to slide out of there, but... He's felt the power. He lands a really nice right hand himself, though. Yeah, well, Durango doesn't have to watch himself. And uh, Adolf, Abaldo is not fighting like a tall man at all. He's not keeping Durango on the outside at all. No, he's actually dipping down low. And against those ropes, not a good thing against the Colombian, the unbeaten Colombian, who just missed with a right hook. In the right jab of Durango. Watch your head, Hernandez Watch appears your head. to have weathered the first storm. Durango not doing the best job cutting off the ring. Right there, he's in a position to, to throw some more punches. Lands a combination. He's got to watch. About, you know, Ubaldo can punch with a big right hand, but if, you know, if, when Durango swings, he loses his chin to you, so he's got to watch out for that, too. So, you know, even though he's winning the round, winning the fight, he's got to watch himself. Ten seconds to go. Good opening round for Juan Urango. It's at the outdoor arena here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood. And a look inside the corner. Wild right hand, okay? Urango. Then we take a look at the punches of the knockdown. Possibly, it's like a top of the head shot. It seemed like to me, Baldo's falling more down and trying to stealth away the shots. And he, I didn't see any punch there at all. A lot of body work, okay? Mucho cuerpo, Okay? Keep his hands up, all right? Move his head. Cut the ring off and get closer. Two scheduled for 12, the WBC Latin American Junior Welterweight title on the line. Unbeaten Juan Urango in the black trunks against Ubaldo Hernandez, the Mexican. 27 years of age. Urango's 24. Urango, good first round, scored a knockdown, although the wasn't much of a punch. Nevertheless, it's going to be a 10-8 round, I think, for Urango. Watch your hands in there. 
But one thing I see Evaldo starting to do this round, he's starting to utilize his boxing. He has a weak advantage, 73 with some finality. And uh, he's starting to utilize it. And not letting uh, Rango on the inside to bend his body and bend his head. So he's putting a plan together. So he's obviously looking for his corner. Durango's not that difficult to hit with the right hand. If Ubaldo, I think, needs to try to use his height and reach advantage and fight taller when he's dipping low like that. I think that's to Durango's strength. But a key for Ubaldo is to box on the outside. Stop letting go, himself get on the inside, let Durango on the inside. Like right there, he's moving away. Pop the jab, keep him at the end of his punches. Don't let him slide in like he just did. They let him too close, and that's where Durango lands the big shots. Keep it at the end of the jab. Your angle told us his best punch is the right hook. He's trying to get in position to land that shot. He just missed it. There comes with a more of an uppercut. Let go, let go, let go, let go. I think it's also giving uh, Abago a little trouble here. Is that your angle is a southpaw. So not only does he got, he has the height advantage, but being a southpaw is a very difficult thing, and he's not utilizing. Right now, Abago landed a straight double jab right hand, which is very good. Let's see if he can land it again. Go, he's just go, missing it. As I mentioned in his last fight against that. Mike Arnautis. Arnautis really came on. And I thought he might have won that fight with the Urengel. They called it a draw. Urengel very powerful. You see his body type. He's, not, he's moving his shoulders, but his head is not really that difficult to hit. Yeah, he's throwing head over shots. I believe that his body shot just hurt. It did. Baldo. So too. Baldo is gripping down right now, trying to let Urango hit that body again. The right hook by Urango is that he told us his best punch definitely hurt, and that one puts Hernandez down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. No attempt to get up, and Hernandez is knocked out. Durango told us about that right hook off the South Paul style, and we got a great illustration of it. Unfortunately, so did Fernandez. So Juan Durango gets the victory and gets another knockout to stay unbeaten. Young man just scored the knockout over Ubaldo Hernandez. Ubaldo Hernandez kind of thought he could have got up there. He didn't make a, much of an attempt. He could have got up. I think he was stuck in uh, opponent mode and uh, took a let the easy victory go rather than take more body shots. He didn't know how to, he didn't have an answer to keep off your angle off his body. He didn't have an answer. I think the body shot discouraged him, and that's what happened. Uh, so discouraged that he said, you know what? I can stay down and take less punishment and get up and take more. So Urango remains unbeaten gets another knockout to go along with it. He was very confident that he would score the knockout over Hernandez. Powerfully built young man now has the WBC Latin American Junior Welterweight title to hang up at uh, home. Back in Hollywood, Florida, at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Juan Urango just scored the KO of Ubaldo Hernandez. Then we take a look at the punch that did it all. Nice swooping left, right hook. Put 
down the ball though. Here's take a look as an attack, the uppercut. Sends him on his way. It was more like a uppercut kind of hook from a right hand from a stopping position, but a right hand to put him down. So we take another look, the final look. There we go, the underneath shot. The ball will never saw it coming. On your rango, victorious. Let's make it official with Tom Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, James Waring, reaches the count of 10. Your winner by way of knockout and the now WBC Latin American Junior Welterweight Champion, Juan the Iron Twin, Ulungo. Victory and the belt to go along with.